Hello everyone, once again welcome back to MMS Max Medicine Simple and today we will talk about neonatal sepsis. So before we start, please do subscribe to the channel to get all the latest updates. So first, what is neonatal sepsis? So neonatal sepsis is an infection in the bloodstream that poses severe health risk to newborns including permanent brain damage and disability such as cerebral palsy. Now, neonatal sepsis is the second most common cause of neonatal mortality whereas prematurity is the first most common cause. Now, what causes neonatal sepsis? So, Klebsiella is the number one cause of neonatal sepsis in India whereas group B streptococci worldwide. Now, on the basis of onset, we can classify in early and late onset sepsis. So, early onset sepsis occurs within 72 hours of birth, whereas late onset after 72 hours of birth. Now, there are certain maternal sources which are associated with early onset sepsis, whereas late onset sepsis is acquired in hospital and community settings. Right? Also, there are risk factors like chorioamnitis. PP rom that is preterm premature rupture of membranes and prolonged duration of rupture of membranes that is more than 72 hours are the risk factor for early onset sepsis. Whereas unclean hands, low birth weight, prematurity and lack of breastfeeding are the risk factors for late onset sepsis. Now there are certain infections which are associated with early onset sepsis. So those are pneumonia. When we talk about late onset sepsis, septicemia and meningitis. Now, what are the features of sepsis? So, any sick baby suspect sepsis. Also, poor feeding, letharginess, respiratory distress, seizures, abdominal distension, and vomiting are the common features of sepsis. Also, sclerema seen in severe sepsis cases. This is nothing but generalized thickness of skin. Now, what are the investigations for sepsis? So when we talk about the investigations, then blood culture. Blood culture is the gold standard. Also we do sepsis screening and we look for total leukocyte count. Also we look for absolute neutrophil count. Then immature total neutrophil ratio that is IT ratio. Also for micro ESR and C-reactive protein CRP. So, at least two abnormal values should be present to suspect sepsis. Now, there are new markers like procalcitonin. They increase within two hours of insult and more sensitive than CRP. The other investigations are chest x-ray and also lumbar puncture if meningitis suspected. Now, what are the treatment? So when you talk about the treatment, empirical antibiotics like penicillin and gentamicin are preferred. Also, if no response, or meningitis and shock are suspected, give third generation cephalosporin with aminoglycosides like cefotoxin. In suspected MRSA, add vancomycin, right? So now, duration of treatment. So in culture negative sepsis, where screen positive or clinical course consistent with the sepsis, the duration is five to seven days, one week. Or for blood culture positive, but no meningitis is two weeks. And for meningitis is 21 days, three weeks. So. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get all the latest updates. So thank you so much guys. Have a good day.